Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome back to the Lazarus Project. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in the last episode, it was more like a just a quick transfer update kind of thing. Show you guys who I wanted to sign, who I didn't want to sign. Um, you know, who I was trying to bring in, who I was trying to get rid of. Uh, I brought a couple more players in. Um, let me start from what I believe is to be the top. Abdul Razak or Razak <coughs> has come in from West Ham on season-long loan. Uh, he will slot straight into that attacking midfield position. Um, I've signed him in that position before, and I know he can do the job. Uh, so that's that position truly covered now. And because of that, Jed Wallace goes back out onto the right-hand side, uh, and Fogden actually drops into the reserves. Uh, other signings, Adam Armstrong, unknown from Newcastle. He's our new number nine. Um, he's only 16 years old, but you can see his overall rating. He is definitely going to be a star of the future, no doubt about that. Uh, Tim Payne, there he is, number 22. Uh, slightly further down, Pedro Azog, number 18. Uh, and then you've got the usual suspects underneath. Uh, and then, yeah, that's the team. Uh, I'm actually going to go back into the transfers window. Because I think I still have some players. Yeah, Ertl's transfer listed, Taylor, Jervis, Devira, Craddock, East, Drennan and Rakon are listed for loan. Um, there's actually a couple of players I want to get rid of. So, Roman Padovani. I'll try and loan him out. Because uh, I've got enough centre midfielders now, so I don't really need him. Uh, Fogden. i put on the transfer list, because again, I don't need him. He's actually incredibly short, so he wouldn't even be very good in the air. Uh, this guy, Diagaraga. I don't actually need him. He's on loan from Brentford. He's six foot two. Let me go into his proper stats. Um, so yeah, he's six foot two, centre midfielder, twenty six years old. If I go into the numerical numbers, he's not got great acceleration. He's not got great sprint speed. Agility is poor. Jumping is really poor for someone who's six foot two. Uh, reactions is poor. Aggression is poor. Vision is poor. Interceptions and attacking position are poor. Crossing is woeful, finishing is awful, free kick accuracy, heading accuracy, long pass, they're not very good. So I'm actually going to terminate his loan for 36k, um, because he's not going to be any good to me, at all. Um, and apart from that, who else do I want to get rid of? I think that's it really, just the players we've got transfer listed and listed for loan. Apart from that, uh, everyone else can stay. Just see this quickly. There you go. Play alone has expired. Good, good. Got nothing against the guy. I watched him play on TV the other day and he was actually pretty good. But um, he, just, he doesn't fit into what I want my team to do. So unfortunately for him, he doesn't make the cut. That does mean I'm going to have to go back into the squad and change it again very shortly. Uh, what I would like to do, I might end up splitting. In fact, no, I, won't, I won't split this episode. Uh, just going to do this first pre-season game in this episode and I'm actually going to play it live uh, from this match on I'm going to do highlights apart from key cup games and things like that but for this one I think it'd be cool if I played it live so you guys got, got to see the team in action for the first time um, just going through yeah I'm quite happy with that actually good first 11, good bench Rakon is the next player who I'm looking to get rid of but I think he's on the transfer list anyway so that's fine going to replace him in the team though with Simon Ferry who I'm actually a big fan of uh, he seems to have a good long shot he has a pretty decent passing accuracy and tackling accuracy so uh, I think he'd be a good signing for us uh, I'm also going to adjust this because I think I did it last episode or the episode before but um, I think we've got better players for these now but I don't know who there you go, Raziak can take free kicks he'll take both types of free kicks uh, and corners. Do I have any left footers in my team? I don't think I do. I think I'll just leave Wallace for both of them. Okay, now I've wasted time. Let's go into this match, and it's against. Is it Osters F I F? Osters? Oosters? I don't know how you pronounce that. I think it's Oosters I F. Um, I'm happy with the starting lineup, so we'll go straight into it. 
these skill challenges I'm not a big fan of this one because I always do really really well I think and at the last minute I hit the three mannequins in a row or something and it just ruins my score uh, so I'm actually going to go straight into the game I'm not going to bother with them I might do a video at some point like a side series where I do all the skill games and show you guys um, but I'm not claiming to be the best I'm one of the worst if anything so uh, any opportunity I get to avoid doing them I take it uh, I'm going to actually run through this this uh, pre-match what would you call it montage video y kind of thing just just because fill some time and I kind of I like it I skip it a lot in the game but I actually like watching this because it, it gives it the real it feels like a proper football match live on TV that you're watching kind of atmosphere even though you then go on to control the players right we got some debuts today um, Azog obviously making his debut uh, and actually I think players like Trevor Carson obviously making his debut Jervis making his debut and I believe Wallace is making his debut as well um, he was on loan to Whitehawk I think it was uh, last season I think it was Whitehawk it was somebody like that um, and Portsmouth have actually got another player called Adam Adam Webster who's a centre back uh, he is on loan at Aldershot at the moment but on my football manager career I brought him back into the starting 11 and he's actually my captain now so uh, it goes to show that you, you loan a player to a non-league club it's not necessarily because they're a bad player it's just because you want to develop their skills. One season you're in loan at Aldershot, the next season you're in the Premier League. So uh, it's interesting the way that works sometimes. You look at players like Bradley Johnson, he was once on loan at Stevenage. Um, I don't think he played that many times, if at all, for us, but he was on loan with us from Leeds, I'm guessing it was. And now he's in the Premier League with Norwich. So uh, it's amazing where you can go. Right, I suppose I better do some kind of commentary on this game since I'm going to silence Martin Tyler for this this series, I think. That was Painter with the cross. It comes back out to Razak. Into the right back, whose name I will learn one day. Probably the day he leaves. Uh, I'm going to do the whole press as, va as advanced as you can. Push forward, try and get the goals that way. See, I've got a Zog on the ball here, just jostling around the penalty area Razak to fight to Simon Ferry and in the back of the net there you go you see what I mean now by he's got a long shot um, well yeah you see he got a nice clean it wasn't the best layoff there from Razak it's a very poor layoff I'd say but uh, good long strike there good power on the shot got a bit lucky the keeper parrying it into the back of the net I suppose but uh, there's a bit of swerve on that ball and I think that's what took it away from the keeper see there it's just starting to swing away from him just inside that near post um, but yeah we're one nil up so can't complain at that hopefully if, if some of the players who I want to get rid of if they play well in this game then uh, teams might actually come in for them if not I don't really want to be stuck with a player that I don't want for the whole season unless I try and sell him in January I don't know we'll see uh, right now we've just had a goal and now we've got an injury. That is, yeah, it's Jervis who's down. So I'm going to make an immediate sub. I'm not going to bring on Taylor. I'm going to bring on Armstrong and give him a go. See how he gets on. It is pre-season after all. It's designed to experiment with your team. So uh, I just realised I skipped that. Didn't mean to skip that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, it gives me a chance to experiment with the team. Play a 16-year-old up front. See how he gets on. Because you never know. That's a good challenge there from Ben Chorley. And then a poor pass from Ben Chorley. It's quite annoying. Uh, there you go, Ferry winning the ball back. A Zog on the ball, good ball out wide to Razak. Dink it over the top. It was into Armstrong, good diving header from Armstrong, but he was offside. Uh, quite a long way offside as well, actually. No, uh, no question of doubt. Flag up straight away. Linesman knew. 
I think Armstrong knew deep down as well, but what are you going to do? He's 16. He just wants to play football. He's actually, uh, his stats show that he's got pretty decent pace, but not excellent. But it's only really in a match where you, you get to experience just how quick he actually is off the line. And uh, and yeah, he seems to be quite quick there, accelerating, trying to catch up with that over the top ball. So uh, I think he's going to be a good signing for us. Good player up front. He might end up being the uh, the first choice centre forward if uh, if I manage to sell the other two. Um, which of course is the plan. I mean he's rated 62. And I'd like to get him on loan next season as well if Newcastle will let me. So uh, I think he's a player for the future for us. Because then have him on loan for a couple of seasons and then try and actually sign him permanently. You see he's on the ball here. Knocks in, out to Zog into Wallace. Oh, it sat up nicely there. I was going to hit it. And then he uh, did a heavy touch. Which annoys me about this game. Especially online. The heavy touches. You're just about to play an inch perfect pass. Through to the winger. Who's going to launch it down the line. Into the box and score a goal from it. And then he does a stupid heavy touch. And just anyone on the opposition team can get across and make a challenge. And it is so frustrating. I hate it. It is the most annoying thing in the world. And yet, if you turn off sprint and all that stuff and try and make a light touch, your guy either ends up missing it or just doesn't touch it at all. So you still end up giving the ball away in a stupid area. You can't win. Oh, Razak hits the post. Good ball in from Jed Wallace, and that was really unlucky from Razak. <coughs> God, my throat. I'm coming down with something again. I've been well for ages and not bothered recording. And then as soon as I start to record again, my voice goes. It's good that, isn't it? Perfect timing. Should we go on one of those uh, FML kind of things? I, I don't think I'll score very high, but there you go. Right, paint on the ball. Into Barcham. Tracks back. Delivers the cross. It was in towards Ferry, who I think was actually offside. Um, the defender got up there first anyway and very easy for Wolf, the keeper, to get his hands on it. I assume his name's pronounced Wolf or Wolf. One or the other. Alright, Azog wins the ball. Out to Mataya Kill. Mateo uh, Kill. I might just sell him just so I don't have to pronounce his name. I feel so bad saying that but it takes half the match just to say his name. Oh, that was a good ball from Painter into Armstrong. Good save from the keeper as well. Uh, but we got ourselves a throw in. And Painter throws it to Razak. Into the box. Armstrong just missed the header. And that's half time, guys. So, 1 uh, 0 at half time. Good goal from Simon Ferry. Um, not really much else to say apart from, apart from that. Good link up play up front, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look at some replays. So here's Ferry's goal. Again, you watch it swing away from the keeper there, and I suppose that's why he got a bit wrong footed. There's another save there for Wolf. Not the best camera angle, I admit. That was unlucky from Raziak. That goes down as a save, but I think that's actually more of a miss than a save. That was a save. Arms, uh, Ferry nearly getting his head on that one. There's Armstrong forcing a good save from the keeper. Uh, and yeah, that's. That's the cycle finished, so uh, let's get straight into the second half. Right, tactics. At this point, I could probably show you one of my kickoff tactics. Uh, what I like to do is, is striker to centre center attack and midfielder, obviously, and then try and get the ball out to either wing as quick as possible. So in this case, it will be the right-hand side, because that's where the ball was heading towards. And then sometimes I like to switch it. Because you open up, apart from that shocking pass there from Ferry, you open up all this space on one side of the pitch. And then by the time it gets filled, a massive space opens up on the other side. So you might as well switch it and exploit the the gaps. And then just keep doing that until you can work your way through. And get a shot away like that from Jed Wallace. Which leads to a second goal for us. And again, nice little curling shot from the edge of the area. Um, and just took it away from the keeper. I think it's Barcham. Armstrong won the ball there, and yeah, Andy Barcham with the little layoff, and he just swept it in with his left foot. Really good finish. 
really good finish. Considering that's his uh, his swinger, got a really good contact on it. And look at that, Armstrong wins the ball straight from kickoff. There's just a poor touch there, trying to shimmy it from one side to the other. Uh, and actually, they haven't really threatened our goal much, have they? Don't think they have at all. Thinking about it, I don't think they've even been in our half for that long. So uh, we're actually quite dominant in this match. Don't know whether that's very realistic or not. I don't know how good this team are in real life. Um, I'm guessing they're from Scandinavia by their name. So I might have to check out the Scandinavian leagues. I'm I'm going to hazard a guess at Norway, but I could be wrong. It could be Swedish. Um, try and find out a bit more about them. I'm probably never going to play them again, having said that. So is it worth it? Probably not. It would have been worth doing the homework before the match, not after it. Right, Armstrong takes it to the byline, hooks it back across goal, Raziat running onto it, another weak effort there. Just swung a leg at it really, there was no power or placement in that shot. Oh, that was a clever ball from Barcham, Razak nearly got on the end of it. Mistake there from Armstrong. Tried to win it back, very nearly did win it back actually. It's one of those another annoying things about this game is the... Uh, sliding tackles like that where you actually end up playing it back to them um, you kinda wanna make the challenge and then have your player stand up just a little bit quicker to get onto it again but oh well I am fussy Ferry with another outside of the box shot there which nearly led to a goal Painter with another swinging effort but that was easy for the keeper that one uh, Barchim seems to be playing inside now for some reason either that or he's just he keeps getting caught out of position one or the other uh, Chuli's come a long way forward to try and win that one and hasn't. Just realised Azog especially is looking very jaded out there and Vaziak. So uh, make some subs and I'm going to do that. I'm going to put Armstrong at centre attacking mid and I'm going to bring Ryan Taylor on. Uh, and then I'm also going to bring Wallace off, stick Holmes on and I'm going to bring Azog off and put Rack on. Oh yeah, I'm out of subs aren't I? Okay, ignore that last one. Uh, right, offside against their guy. Not by much, but offside. Uh, and now we've got the subs. So, who is it? Wallace and uh, Razak coming off. And Taylor and Holmes coming on. There we go. And they're bringing on Anderson for Robledo. Robledo? Robledo? I don't know. Right, Chorley with a little dinkaroo out to Painter. Inside to Ferry, through to Armstrong, Taylor, great ball to Ferry, oh he went left footed, and Barcham just with a swinger, that was that was an anger shot more than anything, that was like ah how did he miss that, I don't know, I think Ferry is actually left footed so I, I probably should have accommodated for that, tried to just do a little right foot curler into the bottom corner, alright Barcham with a really Cleverly, cleverly disguised pass to Holmes who miscontrolled it and then missed the chance to win it back Armstrong trying to get in there just muscled in and then muscled out again uh, same again there muscled his way in and then got muscled out he'll get stronger as the season goes on that's better Barcham and uh, Chorley there teaming up to win it back now Barcham on a one man run Take it to about there. Just got blocked. He's won it back. Dink it across the box. Header from Holmes. Easy save for Wolf. Need a player with overhead kicks, really, in that situation. That would have been a fantastic goal if it had gone in from an overhead kick. Even if Holmes had headed that in, it would have still been pretty special. Good ball from Painter into the path of Barcham. Oh, overpassed it there. Just try to tuck it inside to Holmes. I was going to shoot with Armstrong, but he sort of turned his back on it a little bit. And I didn't want one, one of those weak ones where it goes, just trickles wide or trickles into the keeper's hands. So I tried to lay it off once more and didn't really spot that defender making the break out of the box. Uh, but I've been impressed with Armstrong. I think he's had a really good first outing for us. 
See if he can cap it off with a goal. Not quite that time. Comes back to Ferry. Oh, and Taylor just short of it as well. Uh, Soderberg on the ball. I recognise that name. Soderberg. Where do I recognise that name from? Ah, I think he used to play for Newcastle. Newcastle Reserves. Oli Soderberg, I think his name is. I think that's who he used to play for. Right, Ferry with a cross. That's a really good ball. Holmes, what a header that was. A fantastic save from the keeper. Not once, but twice. Very well played from their goalkeeper at the end there. But unfortunately, not enough. Because we have won 2-0. Uh, pleased with that performance. Two good goals from uh, Wallace and Ferry. Um, some good link-up play in the midfield. Pretty good play up front as well. Uh, good performance from Armstrong. Didn't see too much of Taylor, unfortunately. Uh, Holmes looks like he's going to be a good signing for us as well. Um, for those of you who watched my FIFA 13 Barnet career, you remember I had Ricky Holmes on the wing. So uh, I, I know a little bit about Holmes. I kind of want to keep him, but if a better left-sided player comes along, um, then I probably will have to sacrifice him for wage budget and uh, and things like that. Um, yeah, we watched the round of replays now. So uh, let's go back to the uh, the career hub, campaign hub, whatever you would call it. What would you call it? Career mode hub, I suppose. Uh, a few other results there. Burton losing, Exeter losing, Plymouth, I think, won their match by the looks of it. There you go. Jake Jervis has got a sprained ankle and he will be out for four weeks. That's that's a shame, unfortunately. Um, not a lot we can do about that, though. Just put Taylor in or Armstrong in for the rest of pre-season. Um, and I'm actually going to do pre-season now, but I'm going to do it um, I'm just going to record, I'm not going to do audio and then I'm going to edit them into highlights and then they'll go up as, as videos over the next uh, few days hopefully or I might stick with what I did with the first two episodes and have one on a Saturday, one on a Sunday um, and then have it like a FIFA weekend uh, I don't know, you guys let me know what you, how you want to see it I'll just record the episodes, you tell me when you want them published um, but until then guys, thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.